Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Drama Cult. If this is your first time on this channel, please show us your love and support by subscribing to us and also click on the bell icon to be part of the notification squad. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends. Also, leave your opinion and suggestions in the comment section below. So, usually we do reviews of Asian dramas. Today, it's a teeny bit different. We are gonna explore the career of the very famous and widely loved South Korean actor Kim Soo Hyun. So here goes. Kim Soo Hyun, his career in a nutshell. Kim Soo Hyun is a South Korean actor born in 1988. No one expected him to become an actor due to his introverted personality as a child. His mother wanted him to be more outgoing and so she encouraged him to take acting lessons before high school and that sowed the seeds for him to become one of the top Hallyu stars across Asia. Soo Hyung made his television debut in the year 2007 as a supporting character with his own name in a family sitcom Kim Chi Chi Smile. In 2009, he played the role of the teenage version of the main character Cha Kang in the drama Will It Snow for Christmas. The 2009 drama called Father's House told the story of the relationship between a father and his son and Soo Hyun played the role of the son Kang Jae. In the same year, he also played the lead in two short films, Worst Friends and Cherry Blossom. In the 2010 period drama Giant, he played the teen role of one of the main characters Lee Sang Moo. He got his first break in 2011 when he played the role of Song Sang Dong a country bumpkin who turned out to be a musical genius in the hit teen drama Dream High opposite Miss Ace Bae Suzy to prepare for this role he studied song and dance for a short duration at JYP Entertainment along with a group of idols around the same time he appeared in a supporting role in the film A Function In the 2012 historical fantasy drama Moon Embracing the Sun, he played the lead as Crown Prince King Lee Hong and he was casted opposite Ha Ge-in. The drama was a huge hit and it catapulted his career to new heights. He also gained attention on the big screen with the action comedy The Thieves, which became one of the highest grossing films in the South Korean movie history by playing one of the main characters Zam Pano. In 2013 he played a very interesting lead role of an alien Do Minju in the drama You Who Came From The Stars. His co-star in this drama was Jun Ji Hyung with whom he had shared screen space in 2013's The Thieves. This drama garnered a lot of popularity within Korea as well as internationally. In the same year, he carried the comedy action drama film Secretly Greatly on his own shoulders by playing the main role of a North Korean spy who infiltrates South Korea as a village idiot. He gained a lot of critical appreciation for this role. The film was based on a very popular spy webtoon Covertness by Hun. In 2014, Soo Hyun made a guest appearance in the comedy film Miss Granny. Then he went on to play the important role of a prosecutor, P. D. Bae Song Chan, in 2015's The Producers, in which he shared screen space with IU. In 2017, he played the main role of Jung Tae Yong in the new near action film Real, which was based on a character from the manhwa webtoons. He also appeared in the music video for IU's ending scene along with her. In October of the same year, Soo Hyun got enlisted for his mandatory military service and he was relieved after 20 months in July of 2019. He made his comeback to television by doing a very interesting guest role in Crash Landing on You and also in Hotel Del Luna. Both dramas gained a lot of popularity on Netflix. In Crash Landing on You, he reprised his character from the 2013 film Secretly Greatly. In 2020, he is making his actual comeback to Prime TV by portraying the main role of Moon Kang Tae, a psychiatric aide in the drama It's Okay to Not Be Okay and he is casted opposite Seo Ye Ji. Over the course of his career, he received various major awards including that of the Best Actor at MPC Drama Awards 2012, Dae Jong Film Awards of 2013, Bae Sang Arts Awards of 2014 and SBS Drama Awards of 2015. 
2014 he was appointed the goodwill ambassador of seoul in october of 2014 he was first included in the forbes korea power celebrity list in 2014 placed fourth subsequently ranked second in 2015 and fifth in 2016 business magazine's asia edition also included him in its 30 under 30 in the year 2016 We have come to the end of the video. There is an update. We will be posting weekly reviews of Kim Soo Hyun's upcoming drama It's Okay to Not Be Okay. Please look out for it.